Hi everyone, welcome to a new video from PRFI. Today I'm going to be showing you how to measure noise power ratio. Now noise power ratio is a linearity measurement that's been around for a number of years uh, but is still very useful for example for satellite applications. Now it used to be the noise power ratios uh, were very difficult to measure because you needed band pass filters and also notch filters to measure it. However with today's measurement equipment it's a much easier and more convenient measurement to make. Let's go through the fundamentals of noise power ratio. If we look at the spectral plot, there are two key areas of the signal that we're interested in, the channel and the notch, as shown here. The channel contains a wide band white noise signal that has the same bandwidth as the signal that we intend to use in our end application. We then create a notch in this noise signal where the noise has been filtered out. The noise power ratio is then simply the ratio of the power density in the notch compared to the power density in the channel. When the device under test is operating at low input power levels, the difference between the notch power and the channel power is high, and this results in a good NPR figure. As the input power is increased, the notch power increases more quickly than the channel power, and the noise power ratio reduces. We can measure NPR at several input powers and use this to plot the noise power ratio against output power or against the level of power back off. Now there are two methods that are commonly used to produce the noise power ratio white noise test signal. The first technique uses a noise source which is passed through a bandpass filter and then a notch filter is applied and that's shown in the top diagram here. The second technique is to use closely spaced multiple tones where each tone has an equal magnitude and a random phase. The notch is then created by turning off the appropriate number of tones. And the width of the notch is typically 1-10% to of the channel bandwidth. Now today I'm going to be showing the first technique where actually using an arbitrary waveform generator the signal is generated completely within the signal generator. Now, at low power, the noise power ratio is dominated by the noise of the spectrum analyzer. And as the signal power to the DUT is increased, the noise power ratio also increases. However, when the device under test starts compressing, the noise power ratio will then decrease. And we can use this as a measure of the linearity. So now let's have a look at the setup for measuring noise power ratio. Here I've got a Roman Schwartz SMW200 vector signal generator and I've got a Roman Schwartz FSW and this has very wide uh, channel bandwidth so we can measure very wide band signals and it's also got very well defined uh, phase noise characteristics as well for our measurements. I'm measuring here a 28 gigahertz gallium arsenide power amplifier designed by PRFI and now we're going to look at how noise power ratio can give us an indication of the linearity of our, of our amplifier. So we can see here on the screen that the notch bandwidth is marked in green and the channel back bandwidth is mark, marked in blue. And we can see here that the notch uh, is, is quite a bit down from the uh, power in the channel. And this is giving us a noise power ratio of around about 30 dB. Now here the amplifier is heavily backed off. And what I'm going to do is slowly increase the input power to the power amplifier. It's going to compress and we'll see the noise power ratio eventually decrease. Now we have some averaging here on the trace, so the effect isn't instantaneous. But you can already see that our channel bandwidth has gone Sorry, our noise power, you can already see that our noise power ratio has gone from 30 dB to about 24 dB. And you can see here, now that we're getting towards the P1 dB point of the amplifier, that the noise power ratio has gone to around about 20 or so. And if we push it a little bit further, it goes to about 19. Now in this measurement setup, we've got the signal generator connected to the spectrum analyzer 
which means that when we change the settings on the spectrum analyzer, it automatically updates the signal generator. This means that we can be very confident in the quality of our noise power ratio measurements. So that's a short overview on how to measure noise power ratio. We hope you found this video useful. There are lots more videos on our YouTube channel. And if you want to see loads more white papers, you can go to our website, prfi.com. Thank you for watching.